Welcome back. A searing audit was released this past week by the Los Angeles City Controller's Office regarding the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, the agency the city and the county are using to try to help fight the homeless problem in the streets of Los Angeles. Ron Galpern is the controller for the city of Los Angeles, the man behind that audit. Fairly controversial. Thank you very much for coming. Good to be uh, with you. So uh, let's first of all tell us what is the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority? What is their job? The Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority, also known as LASA, is a joint powers authority between the city and the county. They are actually the umbrella for spending something like $300 million a year on all sorts of different services relating to homelessness. They get their money from the city, they get it from the county, from the state, from the federal government, and other sources. So they're the ground troops in this campaign to get people off the street. That they, is correct. They interact with the homeless, the mentally ill, try to talk them into services. Among the things that they do is they've got something like 800 outreach workers, some of them employees, some of them are on contract, and that job is to go out and interact with people who are experiencing homelessness and hopefully get them to accept some services. What did you look at and what did you find? Well, our audit was about the city's contract with LASA. There's also a county contract, and we looked at outreach. And the reason that we did so is because that is the very first step in how you get people off the street, is by developing a relationship, by finding out what their needs are. And what we found was that the results of outreach leave a lot to be desired. Such as? Well, the idea is that you're going to reach people and hopefully get them to accept various kinds of help. But the terms and conditions of the contract were in some cases vague. Also, the, the results... The contract with LASA. The contract that the city has with LASA. Moreover, what we found was that the number of people who have actually gotten into housing, the number of people who have actually gotten services, and not just a business card, not just water, not just a hello that those numbers need to increase markedly if we're going to make a real dent in seeing the number of people on the street get off the street. And the, uh, the number, do you know the numbers? I mean, what percentage of the interactions were actually ending up off the street? Well, we looked actually at uh, 12,000 some interactions that happened over a two-year period and the number of people that at least reported by the numbers that LASA provided was really minuscule. Now, your report says that 375 people were placed into housing through the outreach of 56,000 uh, homeless individuals. They say it's closer to 21,000, that they've actually made quite a bit of difference. It's an extremely difficult job, uh, but that your numbers don't add up to their numbers. Well, it is an extremely difficult job, and my hats off are to those outreach workers. It's a really tough job, and they've also got a high burnout rate, and understandably so. Now, they did not reach out to all of the 56,000 in the context of the city's contract, nor was that what was expected. So it's actually a smaller number, but that 56,000 represents the total number of people on the street. Now, in terms of the numbers that they report on, the number of placements into housing, not all placements are the same, not all housing is the same. So the idea is that you hopefully get people into something more permanent. In some cases, this was very temporary and then may happen over and over again. But the real issue here is not the debate over numbers. The real issue is how do we get LASA and the city to be much more proactive instead of merely reactive? And how do we get an agency and how do we get cooperation between the city and the county to really be data driven? That's the issue. The public isn't surprised, and I think a lot of them have great sensitivity to this, because it's a very difficult job, perhaps an impossible job. Well, it is a very difficult job, but it doesn't necessarily need to be an impossible job, because if you use data that you gather in a really thoughtful way, then you can make better decisions about how you allocate those resources. That's also why I'm advocating that there be the creation of something called Homestat. It would be modeled very similarly to what police departments around the country have, which is CompStat. And Fire departments have a version of this. There are some states that have this for other social services so that we're actually using the numbers. And by the way, not just going there reactively when calls are made, but really being proactive. They say, listen, they're also hampered by law regarding <clears throat> what they can release about someone who's mentally ill. They can't that put that down on paper. We took care of this person and they were uh, psychotic or they were paranoid schizophrenic. That, that also sort of taints the report. Well, I don't believe that it taints it at all. What it does is underline the fact that, as we do know, there are some real challenges and real challenges in reporting. But take a look at what is happening on our streets. 
it is completely unacceptable. It's a public health crisis. It's very much like having a hurricane or an earthquake, but it's altogether man-made. And if we keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect different results, then we're not going to get those different results. There needs to be a paradigm shift. There needs to be a course correction in Los Angeles. Talking with the uh, city controller for the city of Los Angeles, Ron Galperin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. We should Good point to be with you. We will have a representative from the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority on next week to respond to this report. Up next, we talk about the probation department for the county of Los Angeles, the largest of its kind in the nation, with an effort at splitting it up when we return.